Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. A very warm welcome to each one of you to this session. My name is Jay Krishnan, and I am the Vice President and Global Head for eBusiness, providing business collaboration and customer experience solutions to our customers globally. I also have a strategy role where I look at emerging technologies, where uh, SaaS and cloud are the prominent, prominent ones. And uh, we have pretty large investments in this area and work with all our large partners to offer end-to-end -end solutions to our customers. To me, the most uh, exciting part of this event is that we are having this cloud computing conference on the cloud. Uh, it's virtual, it's elastic, it's secure, and brings in operational efficiencies as well. Over the last two days, we have gone through many of these buzzwords uh, and many new ones as well. In fact, uh, a year or so back, if you Google for cloud, you would have seen the weather channel, and today you will get companies that have nothing to do with the weather. Well, this session is not about any of these definitions or any new buzzwords uh, pertaining to cloud or SaaS. It's more about uh, our experience and insights on the various challenges organizations need to address when they go through a cloud platform initiative. So what we will do um, is to uh, uh, walk you through a, a off-the-shelf cloud platform and discuss how it can enable an enterprise cloud initiative. Enterprise IT is complex. And with all the options that are available to the CIO today, one can choose between multiple cloud models, private, public, uh, internal, uh, external, or even a hybrid model. Now, typically, there are common business processes across an uh, enterprise spread through various business units, uh, geographies. For example, for a manufacturer, it could be a logistic application. For an airline, it could be their CRM. Or for healthcare, it could be the patient administration. And companies feel a need to make these processes enterprise great and yet keep it differentiated to stay competitive. When such a need is established, there is a potential for sharing costs across these business units and also conserve capital and bring in cap operational efficiencies. Bottom line is that you may start thinking of an enterprise cloud initiative when you have a set of business processes that are common across your businesses or geographies, and enhancing them is on top of your priorities. For the sake of clarity, when I talk of enterprise cloud uh, in this presentation, it includes the cloud platform, the virtualized infrastructure it runs on, and also the tenant-specific applications that run on top of the platform. So the best way to articulate uh, enterprise cloud initiative is to um, run through a case study and I have picked one that we did for a global retailer, and we were part of this right from the conceptualization to the realization. So here is a retailer who has a global presence and an ambitious growth plan to leverage uh, multi-channel retailing, and as part of it wanted to expand their web channel, basically rolling out e-commerce for many of their brands and geographies. So they identified the initial plan to roll out our 25 different e-commerce solutions. There was a strong business need too. This was core to their new market entry strategy as well as growth in existing markets. This led them to think about an e enterprise cloud platform which can serve the needs of the various business divisions and geographies. The initiative involved creating a brand new multi-tenant platform with e-commerce capabilities running on a virtualized infrastructure and which enables significant improvement in operational efficiencies. So we started working with them on various aspects, uh, exploring various options and strategy, uh, architecture, even considered leveraging some public plat platforms as well. So our initial analysis revealed some very interesting facts about the tenants. Uh, they were, in fact, very unique in the sense that most of the tenants were very large in the sense of the volume um, of transactions or the 